Let us study the effects of inflation on income, savings, expenditure and taxation in this video. Previous video in this playlist covered effects of inflation on creditors and debtors, on lending, on aggregate demand, on investment and also we learnt a topic called inflation premium. Please go through all previous videos in the inflation series as we have covered most of the effects of inflation under different titles. Let us now study about effects of inflation on income. Inflation tax and inflation accounting video has already explained this. Let us examine it once again. Inflation increases the level of income in nominal value. Real income remains the same. You are a shopkeeper. You sold few goods and received more money because inflation had made all items costlier. In nominal terms, your income has increased. But your expenditure will also increase due to inflation. Thus, real value of income remains same. Effect of inflation on savings Inflation reduces value of money. So, keeping money in home locker is not an intelligent option. We saw it in inflation tax video. So, people keep money in banks. This is likely to increase the saving rate in an economy in the short run. It is to be noted that keeping money in banks is useful only if interest rate is higher than inflation rate. If inflation rate is more than bank interest rate, keeping money in banks is also not an intelligent option. Watch previous episode of Effects of Inflation if you are not able to understand this point. What happens to expenditure when there is an inflation? All prices have increased. So, people tend to decrease their spending. It results in lower consumption resulting in lower expenditure. If you want to make investments, investment expenditure will also increase. Effect of Inflation on Taxation There are two parties, taxpayer and the tax collector which is government. Let us examine effects of inflation on taxpayer. Again, there are two types of taxes, direct tax and indirect tax. Indirect taxes are based on ad valorem. That means, tax is calculated based on total value of a product. If prices increase due to inflation, payable indirect taxes also increase. Direct taxes are imposed based on tax slabs. For example, if your income is less than 2.5 lakh per year, you will not pay any income tax. If your annual income is between 2.5 lakh to 5 lakh, you pay 10%. For income of 5 lakh to 10 lakh, you pay 20% and for incomes above 10 lakh per annum, you will pay 30% income tax. These are called tax slabs. Imagine your income was 2.4 lakh per annum. Since it is in 0% income tax lab, you will not be paying any income tax. We just learned that inflation increases our nominal income. Because of inflation, nominal income may become 2.6 lakh. Then you will fall under 10% income tax bracket. Similarly, a person having 9.8 lakh rupees per year income falls under 20% tax lab. Due to inflation, this income may become 10.4 lakh. Thus, pushing the income into 30% tax lab. This is also called bracket creep effect of inflation. Let us see the effects of inflation on government's tax collection. Due to inflation, nominal value of government's tax collection increases. Government borrows money from the market. As we know already, inflation benefits the borrowers. Government enjoys benefits of inflation premium and inflation tax because of inflation. These topics have been explained already in previous videos of this series. Subscribe to Clarity of Concept YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.